Hello. Okay, I'm going to take you on a tour of my garden. So, let me see. This was a greenhouse that we bought. Uh, it had a plastic covering over it. And, uh, of course, it didn't last longer than three months. <laughs> the plastic cover ripped up. But, anyhow, we kept the frame. And I had a pumpkin uh, growing and right over the top. It was actually quite beautiful. We only got one pumpkin from it, and uh, that's all right. These are my cherry tomatoes that we, we started in the kitchen uh, in December, and uh, they're about seven feet tall, maybe a little bit taller. <laughs> I should have measured them. And they're still giving off uh, fruit, even though it's the middle of September now. Is my kale. Uh, we eat an awful lot of kale here. We make a lot of kale and blueberry, banana and um, almond milk smoothies. So this kale I also started in the house in December in these pots. Uh, I used cheap soil from the dollar store and mixed it with uh, vermicompost from our worm bins that we have in the basement. This is dinosaur kale. This is turmeric. I bought a bag of turmeric, uh, I guess it was in January, and just put it on my counter and forgot about it. Two months later, I was cleaning my kitchen and uh, I found this bag of turmeric that had, and it had sprouted. I was really shocked. So we potted them and uh, we already harvested one. They're very small. So it's getting cooler now. So when I bring those in, I will harvest the turmeric from there. This is my cucumbers. <clears throat> These are um, English cucumbers and I started these from seed. These bins, um, they have uh, kitchen scraps in it and then soil and then I planted the seedlings and uh, every now and then I do put uh, compost in there and vermicompost as well. We did get a lot of cucumbers off these uh, vines, 12 inch long cucumbers. It's really nice. This is my stevia that I pick and dehydrate in the um, Excalibur dehydrator. And over here is my kale garden bed. This kale we started uh, in December and um, I planted them here I guess it was the beginning of March because they are cool weather crops and even though I did have the plastic over the uh, hoops here it's a season extender uh, the kale did go into shock and I thought they all died and uh, but somebody was saying you know just leave them they'll come back and they actually did and they are so beautiful. These are dwarf green curly kale. And this is more um, uh, cherry tomatoes. These, the branches broke off my cherry tomatoes and I just stuck them in the soil and they took root and I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> and they're fruiting. Yay! It's Rebecca. This is my spaghetti squash plant. This one is really badly marked up. I don't know why. Um, it did fall off the trellis a couple of times. I'm wondering if that's why. But anyhow, we did have uh, squash borers and uh, squash bugs. And <laughs> we had um, leaf mold really bad this year. But, and still, look at the flowers. It's still flowering. I still have fruit growing. Spaghetti squash. See, there's another one there. At one point it was so heavy here. The spaghetti squash that I harvested were like uh, over 10 pounds. It was amazing. I couldn't get over it. Got a few more here. 
for this for the middle of September. I wonder if these will, if I'll be able to harvest these or if they'll just die off. It'll be interesting to see. But uh, anyhow, uh, this garden bed, what I do is, um, these are compost bins. So these are pots that I cut holes in them and uh, in the bottoms of the pots as well. And then I dug a hole in the garden bed, sunk the pots in, and I fill it with kitchen scraps and leaves and, and all sorts of things, fruit. And um, you have to keep watering it. Oh, and I also put a few of uh, the red wiggler worms from our worm bin in there. And I watered the uh, I watered these pots. This way the all the nutrients and all the goodness from the worms uh, leaches out through the holes into the soil and then the roots from these plants you know that's how they get fertilized and it really worked this marigold I did not plant this year I planted it last year and the seeds you know just sprouted again this year there's another um, spaghetti squash I don't know if you can see the mammoth dill I haven't planted this in two years <laughs> Two years ago I did, and see the big seed heads? Well, they drop the seeds and they come back every year. And I just let it grow because it attracts beneficial bugs. This is my tomato bed. And these tomatoes, uh, I usually grow Roma tomatoes, but this year I tried uh, different tomatoes. So these ones are um, uh, the Amish tomatoes and money makers. <laughs> They're very small tomatoes. I like the Roma tomatoes better. These are cucamelons. See if you can see that little cucamelon. The little tiny oops cucumber. Delicious. Oh, and also, I planted um, snow peas, or sugar snap peas, sorry. These are cold weather crops. We'll see if I get anything from it this year. Really, really.